Hey everyone, it's Dr. Rick. How we had a question on walking and steps per day. And I thought it was a good question because I do have a lot of patients that already hit 10,000, but we still have our challenges and summits to work on, so I want to push past that. Now the fact that you hit 10,000 a day puts you above the average American already. Activity should always be part of your healthy lifestyle, and including the nutrition part, the calm, good sleep, and then the community. If you look at Dan Buettner's book, The Blue Zones, the areas of the world where they lived to 100, usually activity was involved, in addition to a couple other things. So in the United States, uh, we, leave, we lead sedentary lives, and it's, in fact, in the, it used to be that we, in high school, had the Presidential Physical Fitness Awards. I don't think we even have that anymore, but 10,000 is good. If you already do 10,000, I want you to add a little more resistance we're just talking about the exercise part. I would like to have you get into a gym if you can or get some coaching, but that's okay. We'll just talk about walking. So if you want more challenge and you want to stay with 10,000, add a little bit of resistance with regards to weight. I have two gallons of water in here and it's making me can't backwards. So if I lean forwards, I'm already using more core. And if I use more core, I can also pull in exercise with my upper extremities by using walking sticks. I'll put links down below to my previous video on walking sticks. So the idea is use as much muscle as you can to get more activity, burn more calories, maybe lose some weight. So if you do have walking sticks, you can do the classic way where you use it for support, or you can do the Nordic way where you're practicing or training for Nordic skiing. Now, as far as weights and resistance, I always say if you can throw in a little bit of resistance into a backpack, you don't have to have anything like this Osprey, but all I did really was take two gallons of water and each gallon's about eight to nine pounds. That's 20 pounds in my backpack. Now after, it doesn't seem like much, but after doing a stepping machine, which I sometimes do when it's raining outside, if I can't get out, or doing an incline or a hill, attacking a hill with this, is challenging. It gives you a little bit more resistance. And when you're going long distance or you're going up a steep incline, more resistance means you'll drive or pull in more muscle. More muscle being used means your heart's gonna pump. Everything gets benefit. So when the heart pumps, it kind of gets itself challenged to be more uh, resourceful when you get older. When the heart pumps, it moves blood fast through the blood vessels. When the heart pumps, it gets oxygenated blood to the end organs, the brain, the kidneys, the eyes, the liver, and it just bathes everything with healing, building blocks, uh, ways to get rid of toxins. So it's important to do it all around. If you have a low tolerance or you don't exercise, then you start up slow and you, as I mentioned before, build up, but you always have to have something of a summit to shoot for. If you don't even have a summit, it's going to be very, um, going to be very hard and very motivated, uh, actually poorly motivated, to just do something just because you remember it at the end of the day. So it's nice to have something to shoot for. If you don't have anything to shoot for, you see me or see one of my colleagues, and hopefully we'll give you some ideas about what's what's objective, what's practical, and where you should be, especially after we remove any risks for a sudden heart attack or stroke. So again, if you can get a little bit of activity, cool. If you already walk, better. If you walk and you want to add resistance, try the backpack trick. And I'll, again, I'll put a link down below for the other part, which is relaxation. When you're out on a trail like this, or you're out in nature, as long as the planes don't bother you, you have a, another positive where you can calm. When you're calming, and that's nature therapy, you also lower blood pressure, lower heart rate. You, you increase longevity, that's the bottom line with this thing. So don't forget to always work on nutrition, sleep, and stress busting, but try to get out, try to get more active, try to add resistance into your activity, and shoot for a goal. So good question, Howie. Uh, those of you who did subscribe, thank you very much. I appreciate you watching, at least until the end. Otherwise, I'll see you for the next clinic.